Welcome to uh, F260 Week 33, Luke Chapter 12, entitled The Blasphemy Against the Holy Spirit. Highlight verse is Luke 12, 10. And whoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven. Explaining this, uh, speaking against the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is rejecting what he says. That is, rejecting the words of God. There is forgiveness for this sin when one finally does accept God's word and repents. Then, and um, if this were not so, um, then an unregenerate sinner could never repent and be saved, could he? Uh, but when one hardens his heart against the convicting power of the Holy Spirit by blasphemously attributing works of the Holy Spirit to Satan, then what else could possibly convict such a hardened heart? As we see in verse 24, uh, this is what the Pharisees did when Jesus healed a blind, dumb man possessed with a devil. They said Jesus cast out devils in cahoots with Beelzebub, the prince of devils. This is also what the citizens of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum did. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, as we as we see in Matthew eleven twenty to twenty four, this is what it says. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazin, and woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more terrible, more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which are exalted unto heaven, uh, thou shalt be brought down to hell. For if the, the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. <clears throat> okay, applying all this, Jesus did no miracles until the Holy Ghost descended in bodily shape like a dove upon him, Luke 3.22, when he was baptized by John the Baptist. Uh, therefore, it was through the power of the Holy Spirit that Jesus did all the mighty works which he performed. And when anyone who has seen a manifestation of the Holy Spirit still refuses to believe after witnessing such uh, convincing evidence, then it is his will to not believe. And he is sinning against the Holy Spirit. So how can he be forgiven if he is still unrepentant? My response, there are none so blind as those who will not see. Amen. God bless.